أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين بارئ الخلائق أجمعين باعث الأنبياء والمرسلين ثم الصلاة والسلام على خير خلق الله العبد المؤيد والرسول المسدد حبيب إله العالمين أبي القاسم محمد وعلى أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين وصحابته المنتجبين قال الله تعالى في كتابه الكريم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ومن آياته أن خلق لكم من أنفسكم أزواجا لتسكنوا إليها وجعل بينكم مودة ورحمة صدق الله العلي العظيم عطروا أفواهكم بذكر الصلاة على محمد وآل محمد One of the main differences between Islam and Christianity, and for the past couple of nights we've been pinpointing some of the differences, is that in Christianity there's something called celibacy. It is quite okay for some people to abstain from marriage and to live a life of solitude, living by themselves. And of course, our Christian friends, they emulate Jesus Christ in believing in celibacy. Because everyone knows the fact that Prophet Isa salam, Jesus Christ, was single. He never married. He never had a wife. He never had children. He, lev he lived a life of celibacy. And that's why whoever participates in the Catholic Church remains celibate whether you're a priest or a nun if you devote your life to Jesus Christ you remain celibate and you don't get married we in Islam we don't believe in celibacy in fact Islam fights celibacy we have a hadith that says La fil -islam. we don't believe in this in Islam we are taught to marry that marriage it's part of life. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam says, Az-zawaj sunnati faman raghib an sunnati falaysa minni. Marriage is part of my custom. It's part of my tradition. He who refrains, thank you very much. Who ref, he or she who refrains from getting married is refraining from one major aspect of my sunnah, of my tradition. Thus we see a major red line that is drawn by the Ahlul Bayt and by the Quran above Ahlul Bayt first against celibacy that in Islam, Islam encourages marriage one day Imam Al-Baqir was faced by a woman this woman comes to the Imam and she says that Yabna Rasulullah I chose not to get married I chose to be celibate the Imam said why? She said, Al-Tamisu fi dhalik al-fadl Because it has some virtue Jesus was celibate Yahya, John the Baptist was celibate Al-Tamisu fi dhalik al-fadl Because it has virtue The Imam tells her In kana fi dhalika fadlun Lakanat Fatimah al-Zahra Ahaqqu bi dhalika minki If remaining celibate and not getting married had a virtue, then Fatima al-Zahra would be the first to hold this virtue, to uphold this virtue. Yeah, Fatima al-Zahra went and got married. So who are you to think you're above Fatima al-Zahra? Unfortunately, today, in many communities, there are some people, especially nowadays, that think marriage is not a necessity. There's no need to get married. What's the big deal? Marriage was for old people. Back then, people needed to get married, they needed to mate, they needed to have children. But today, we don't need to get married. Financially, we're doing fine. And we have lots of friends. I have a good relationship with my parents, with my siblings, with my brothers and sisters. I don't need to get married. This is wrong. Islam attack, attacks this idea of bachelorism, so to speak. Because there is this notion of bachelorism. The idea of remaining bachelors, we don't need to get married. 
Rasulullah says, Azawaj Sunnati. Shiraru Mautakum al Uzzab. The worst among the dead are those who died and they were bachelors. Of course, there are some people they, they can't get married, and others they choose to get married. Rasulullah, uh, they choose not to get married. Rasulullah says that those who die and they purposely chose not to get married, those are the worst among the dead. Thus, Islam fights celibacy. Salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. On the subject of marriage, my dear brothers and sisters, there's several, because it's a very vast, it's a very vast topic, and it's been addressed many times, but there are several points that deserve to be mentioned, and maybe even if it's repetitive, it's worth mentioning and stressing on. Number one, the Quran tells us that marriage is something healthy. It's healthy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ أَنْ خَلَقَ لَكُمْ مِنْ أَنفُسِكُمْ أَزْوَاجًا لِتَسْكُنُوا إِلَيْهَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created for us our pairs, the opposite sex, for us to get married and then mentions the reason. Allah says, لِتَسْكُنُوا Scholars on Quran, they say this lam li lam al Meaning it's the cause. The cause behind marriage is this. لِتَسْكُنُوا And what's تَسْكُنُوا تَسْكُنُوا comes from Sakina. And Sakina is comfort. And peace. Stability. This is what's mar marriage. is all about this. It's about comfort. It's about peace. It's about peace of mind. It's about being stable. And having stability in your life. This is the reason behind marriage. 